All right, guys, I want to show you something new that I learned on my last fishing trip. Now this right here, this leader, is what I use for bottom fishing from a boat. It's about a foot and a half, maybe a foot sometimes. It's not really that long. However, I did put a float on it just in case, you know, the fish want it a little bit off the bottom. And a rattle. And I don't know if rattles actually work or not. Now what I did, because I wanted to get a couple of dragon rods out, I took my four ounce river sinker off and I put a long dragging weight and what happened I was able to catch fish with this shorter dragging rig now let me show you what the longer one looks like As you can see this leader line is much longer And I've seen guys make them even longer than this. Now I've only got two rods and reels with me for catfish. And I'm going to try to drag with these in this little cove to see if I can catch catfish here. I got my buddy Clint with me. And we've been bait fishing for a little while. So now we're changing it up to catfish. Now we're going to use super fresh skipjacks, our small ones. I'm going to save the big ones for another time. All right, the first one is going to have the headpiece. I think I'm going to use planer boards too. probably need to get my boat aligned here too. I don't have it aligned properly. Because I want to be going that way. Now I am going to hook this on without the swivel. I think that was the right side. Oh. Yep, that's the right one. Have to go chasing after the planer board once the fish grabs it. piece on this one. Alright, there's a piece on this one. The planer boards are just to push the bait away from the boat. I don't know who said it, but someone said that the boat could potentially scare the fish away from, like behind the boat. So they're swim out to the side and find the bait pushed out away from the boat. Let me know if you think that's true or not. Now hopefully I won't get hung here. Dragging weights are not cheap. We do see a lot of good signatures on the sonar, so maybe we'll get a fish before we get hung. Let's see what happens. Come back here and get ready. Or let Clint catch the first fish. All right, we're just about out of this Cove Creek, whatever area. So I think we're going to run up the lake and try a different area to drag at. The area where we're going, I've had luck catching fish there, and so have some other YouTubers. 
so maybe we can get a fish on this video all right we decided to come here to calhoun's before we went to the other spot to drag we have been out on the water quite a while so i am hungry also there's this giant boat trying to maneuver their way into the marina We had to maneuver our way around that boat too. But now that we're docked, time to eat some food. All right, after a nice meal at Calhoun's, I'm gonna put this small skipjack on my two rods and drag this area. Some of you might actually recognize this area, so hopefully I can get a fish in a boat or maybe Clint will get a fish in a boat. All right, here's the head. Here's the tail. I am going to put planer boards on these. Round two. This one's acting weird, so I'm going to reel it in and check it. It might have a little catfish on it. Should be going to the side. There's a bunch of leaves in the water, and the leaves are piling on the planer board. That could be what the problem is. But I'm going to bring it in. I think we actually have a fish on here. Huh. It really didn't do much. Didn't pull it down. Didn't make it go sideways really quick, which is what they usually do with the planer boards. And here I am saying I was going to give Clint the first fish. Oh well. Let's see what this is. <laughs> There's no way this is a fish. <laughs> yeah, I think it is a fish. This is the weirdest planer board fish I have ever caught. Okay, he's pulling back. Huh. There he is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. no wonder. It's a flathead. Ha. Now, hopefully, he won't get unhooked. It looks like he's hooked good. You want to grab him? Huh. It's not the first time I've had a weird flathead catch, but not on the planer board. Huh. That's cool. One of my favorite types of catfish. There we go. 
He must have been just swimming with it. <laughs> Look at this guy. This actually might be my last flathead of the year, too. They should be asleep right now, but the water is 63 degrees. And they usually, you know, stop being active at 65. But look at that. Flathead catfish. Really, really cool. Awesome. Let's get a side shot here. The best way to show a flathead from the side <laughs> man this was worth coming out here I really love love catching flatheads they are my favorite favorite catfish all right I'm gonna let them go let them grow this could be a hundred pounder someday and yes flatheads will grow that big although the state record for Tennessee is not over a hundred pounds yet Oh yeah, and look at the mud. A lot of mud on his belly. Here, give you guys a better look. A lot of mud. All right, letting this guy go. <laughs> and he took my bait. And now this one's got a bunch of leaves on it. Or maybe there's another flathead. I'm going to reel it in and check it. Oh, and the planer board came off. Well, it makes it easy for them to come off so you don't have to deal with them when you're fighting a fish. But now i got to go chase that planer board down. I wonder if there's even bait on here. Ah, there's no bait on this one. Well, Glad I checked it. No bait. All right, I'm gonna chase down the planer board and then we're gonna start this over again. That was a really, really awesome fish to catch. All right, Clint's baiting me up while I wait on a boat to pass before I flip the boat around and continue my drag all the way to the main river channel. I think the flathead was caught on the head. So we got a chunk piece and we got a head. And hopefully we're getting another fish. There's no way it would have held the boat in place. So out on the open ocean. Oh, 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 oh. There you go, get it Clint. I think that's a fish. Here we are talking about my ocean trip. Or is it a snag? Huh. Planer board got off, so we'll have to go get it. That's okay. I'll bring this one in. We're getting close to the end of our drift. Or drag. Sun is about to go down. We're not going to stay after dark. So this is probably going to be the last fish. Ooh. I saw a big old tail.
I think we're gonna even need the net. <laughs> Man, got a good one, guys. <laughs> Nice. All right, we're going to weigh him. Take the handle out of the net and use the net to weigh him. Oh! <laughs> Smacking me, man. Lively. All right. 21 pounds. So minus one pound for the net. This is a 20 pound catfish. Not bad. Man, that is a nice fish. All right, let's let this guy go. All right. There he goes. Awesome. All right, guys. We are going to go recover the other planer board and then we're going to head back to the ramp. It's going to get dark really quick and I don't have my filming lights. And we've been out here grinding all day long to get that one nice fish. Actually, two nice fish. So it's been a really good day. And the shorty rig it didn't get hung up really cool now as always i want to thank you guys for taking your time out of your day to watch my video i really really appreciate it i definitely hope one of you may have learned something new i know i did today fall leaves in the water and planer boards don't mix thanks again for watching i hope to see you next time